Hi everyone, so I just thought I'd make an update video to let everyone know uh, how I'm doing with my mental health ever since it went out the window. Um, yeah, so I'll talk about my addiction, my bulimia, my OCD, just pretty much everything, a lot of stuff, but um, I'll keep it short. Um, so we'll start off with addiction. So I would, I will, I will be 15 months sober on the 17th, which is amazing. Um, yeah, ever since I stopped drinking, uh, my mental health has just gone up and up. Because obviously alcohol is a depressant, so it doesn't help, believe it or not. Um, yeah, um, so that's great. That's like, that's the main thing I wanted to get rid of. My alcoholism, which is great. Um, the second thing is bulimia. I'm much better with that now. Um, it still comes back, I've got to be honest. Um, but since I've stopped drinking and I've sorted my life, I've become more of myself, really. I've learned to accept who I am and what I look like and just accept me for me, really. Um, I've learned to love myself. Like, I used to think I was absolutely insane, crazy, but that was me. that's what makes me me. Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't change anything. Like, looking back on my life, my alcoholism, my past drug abuse, um, all these things have made me a stronger person, so I've learned to accept that and love myself, love who I am, and even my sexuality as well. Like, it's just, I've become more, like, I was accepting of it, but I've learned to love myself. Do you know what I mean? It's hard to explain, really. Um, but yeah, um, OCD. OCD is um, fine, really. It really affected me when I was, like, littler. So I used to do, like, certain things, like certain rituals, like, turn light switches off. And, like, I was, like, swallow a number of times. Or something bad would happen to my family. But now, it's just, like, it's, like, little things, like, a piece of like thread coming off a clo a piece of clothing or like um I don't know like little things but it is annoying but it's like normal now it's just like a normal thing. I'm not like thinking crazy things are gonna happen if I don't do something. It's just like stupid little thing like for example I bought a new pair of dungarees the other day, purple ones are over there and there was a little thread in them. So I've really obsessed with that for a while but then I just emailed the the company and they give us like £15 back off them so that was fine. Um, but um, yeah I've been really well. It just seems like ever since I've stopped drinking and things, my mental health's gone up and up. Um, still on my antidepressants which I think have really helped. They're, they're the only ones that I think actually did something. I've been on all the antidepressants and these ones are really good. Like something's happening with them. It's the only ones that actually, I don't know if it's because I got sober or, or obviously because it wouldn't work if you had, if you were taking antidepressants and you were still drinking. But um, these ones are really good. Uh, I forgot what they're called, they're called Lexapro in America. They're called like, so, uh, I'll, I'll come back, right? I'll have a look. S-salatropram, s salatropram I can't see it. Look it up. Um, but they're good, they work for me, but everyone's different, everyone is different with antidepressants. I've been on Prozac, Sertraline, Slitreplam, I can't even see it. Half the names are so, so stupid and hard to pronounce, but I've been in them all. Um, so that's working. Um, no, I've had no problems at all, apart from, and believe me, it still comes back now and again. But I've just got to keep myself busy, I've learned, and... If I do feel in need of binge, um, I'll eat carrots. I know it sounds a bit crazy, but I'll eat carrots because I think it's like it's like a safe food. Like I can eat them and be healthy. I don't binge on um, biscuits or crisps or stuff like that. Just um, carrot and chewing gum. Like I'm chewing now, it helps. It helps with my anxiety as well. I don't know what it is. Just something to do. That's why I've got a good jawline, just constantly chewing. Um, but yeah, things are good. Um, things got going good on social media and stuff. Getting a lot of um, 
what's the word? Exposure from different people. It's nice to uh, connect with other creatives, especially around the northeast where I'm from. Um, it's just nice, and we've arranged some things to happen after lockdown as well. Um, but it's nice to get to know everyone, and even um, I'm getting to know more of the gay community as well, which is great. Um, I'm doing like a well, I did a Northern Pride like photo shoot a year, like not a year ago, last year, and like I think it was November. Um, it should be coming out soon, but it's about it's called Life in Lockdown, where um, Northern Pride um, went to different people's houses, uh, part of the LGBTQ plus um, community around Newcastle Sunderland, North East, and just seeing how the corp, uh, how the corp moved lockdown, and what they do, and how it's helping themselves, the community. So I'm glad to be part of that because I never felt part of the. LGG, it's a hard way, it's hard to like see the full thing. LG, LBGT, LGBT plus community. Um, yeah, just nice to be a part of because I never was. Um, I used to think that my sexuality wasn't a big part of my life, which it shouldn't be, but it is. It's my, part of my identity, which I've learned um, to love and accept. And like I loved myself before, like I wouldn't, if I could take a pill not to be straight, I would not do that. I like being gay. It's like, it's me. It's my thing. <laughs> I love men. Um, yeah, um, it's nice to be involved in a community because obviously I felt lonely. I've got no other gay friends. I've got some lesbian friends, but I've got no gay friends, which is weird. It's not uh, right, really. I should uh, make more friends in the community. Anyway, I'm just babbling on now. Um, but yeah, I've been getting back of me fashion and stuff. I love getting like new stuff that um, supports like fair trade and sort uh, of sustainable fashion. Like I sustainable, sustainable. Can't see it, man. Sustainable fashion. Um, yes, I buy these dungarees from Lucy and Lady Yak. Uh, yes, yeah, so I've been supporting. LGBT plus community with this t-shirt over here. Hold on, I'll show you. This. Designed by Emma Hayden. And it's for ACT Charity, which um, helps um, LGBTQ plus youth, um, homeless people in the community, which is great, uh, around Newcastle, Manchester, London. Uh, I'm probably missing something out, but it's a great charity, it helps people with addiction, young people with addiction um, in the community, which was me, really. Um, I wish I knew about it before, but obviously I had my family and they obviously really helped. So I'm lucky for having my family, my friends, like I'm so grateful for everything I've had. I've become more grateful just thinking about people who don't have these things. Um, I'm so like, Lucky, even though I've been through all this shit, people have been through all this shit, but in like poverty and like homeless, or oh, it's awful. And I'm, I just want to help them. I want to be part of that. I want to be, I want to give back, really. I want to help people. And by helping people, it helps me as well. It makes me feel like I've got a purpose because I'm, I'm not doing anything, really. I haven't got a job. I haven't. Like, I'm trying to be an actor and stuff, but it's hard, especially in lockdown. Um, even if it's just a student project, um, obviously they're not doing them at the minute. But, um, yeah, so I want to try and, like, volunteer and help people in the community and with alcohol problems. Because um, I'm a part of a lot of uh, communities now. I'm part of the Recovering Alcoholics, the LGBTQ plus community. Um, eating disorder community. I'm a part of a lot of communities, which before I thought I was just alone. Just me being a selfish little moomin. <laughs> I don't want to call myself. Um, but uh, yeah, so it's nice to be connected with people, even like people you don't even know. Like you can contact them on Instagram. Like I get loads of messages from people asking for advice and help, which I, is great and I love helping them. So if you ever need any help or anything, just even commenting on this video 
on YouTube. I help people out on YouTube. I always coming back um, on my Instagram. It's just Owen Armstrong if you want to add us. Um, I even got a TikTok, which I didn't think would happen. But obviously, you get more exposure on there, which I, I put out like comedy videos, but I also put out like mental health videos, which I don't see a lot of on TikTok. It's more just people like dancing and being stupid, but like for young people. But I'm not doing any dances or anything for you. Like, I'll do like silly dance. I'm not doing a TikTok dance. Um, but yeah, it's like even like that community, like it, even if I can just reach out to one person, it's helped help them and it's helped me. Um, yeah, so that's me. I'm babbling on. It's only been like 10 minutes, so it's been a short one. But I thought I'd just give an update because people seem to like my mental health videos. Um, because people can relate and they know that they're not alone and obviously I'm real with it. Um, I don't try and sugarcoat anything. If things just out there in the open. Take, take it raw, that sounds horrible. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just give it... Just give it to you as it is. No point in lying, no point in being someone else because I'm me and I love me and I love my community and people in it. And I'm just happy that people have accepted us and it's just nice to be nice, do you know what I mean? And be part of something. So I'm going to shut up now and I'm going to go and watch Netflix or something. Like I do all the time. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, yeah, so just try and look after yourself. I know it's going, we're going through hard times. Um, it's it'll come to an end soon. Everyone's getting the vaccine. I haven't had it yet, but soon. Um, just keep going. Be creative. Keep busy. Do what you love. As long as it doesn't hurt people. And just love yourself for who you are. And become part of a community. Be involved. Like, what are you waiting for? Do it. Like Shia LaBeouf. Do it! Um, yeah, so I'm going to say bye. It's hard to say goodbye. I can never say goodbye. It's hard to say goodbye. Um, bye.